Guys, it's Lainey Holland because Addie Walker, my sister, is still asleep. Yeah, I know. So, anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make little bunny slippers for your um, 18 inch doll. American Girl doll, preferably. But they work for any 18 inch doll. What you're going to need is trace their foot on a piece of styrofoam or craft foam. I have styrofoam. And do that four times, twice for each foot. And it doesn't matter if they match exactly perfect. So after you do that, match them up and everything. And if you're like, oh no, I cut more than one, it's okay. You can flip it around and be like the right foot or the left foot or whatever. So yeah. Okay. So you also need these small strips of like white fabric. I cut off like the thing off of this white shirt. It was my grandma's, but she didn't want it anymore, so she gave it to me. And white cardboard. Mine's from the back of my locker shelf, because I just started middle school. Yay, I'm excited. And what you're gonna do is draw like a bunny shape, only the head of it, I recommend. Or you can put like a little puff ball on there and then like cut out cardboard bunny ears and just stick them on there. And that'd be really cute by the way. But I'm just gonna do that. So instead of drawing two, making them exactly perfect and everything, just fold it, okay? And then cut it out. And you can color it if you want. And if it's like the slit kind of cardboard, like mine's white, which means it's the, the slit part. Um, so, I'm going to use colored pencils and stuff, markers or something, or crayons, maybe. Okay, so, I bent one of the ears on purpose, like, I drew one of the ears like it's bent, and then the other one, like, sticking straight up, and it was kind of hard to cut out. So, I recommend just doing both of the ears straight up. And since it's so thick, I'm scared that it's going to, like, go all haywire on me, and then gonna mess up or something, I don't know. See, I still got a little bit extra, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You can cut it like that if you like. I was trying to avoid that, but I guess it'd be easier if I just did that. That just flew back at Lane. And do the white side, I recommend. And now, it's kind of like side by side. But if you want to use these backs, like the locker shelf and everything, you can, but I'm not going to really do that. So you can copy the face on there if you like. I'm going to do that, but later. Actually, if I'm going to go ahead and glue things on there, or tape things on there, I might as well do that. So I just took a pencil and just started sketching. <laughs> yes, I'm very country. I'm from Tennessee, so instead of saying things with an I-N-G at the end, I say them with like an I-N at the end. Okay. My mom has a funny ringtone. Okay. Okay, so these are kind of difficult to draw for me because I'm not a very good artist. I wish I was a very good artist, but sadly, I am not. And if it doesn't, and it doesn't matter if they turn out exact. And what you can do is, if you want them to be perfectly exact, you can print out like bunny faces and then like glue them or tape them onto cardboard, and then cut the cardboard out or something with the paper taped on there, and then uh, tape it to your or glue it to your slipper. And don't be, like, all surprised if they keep falling off unless you put a back on them. And I'm probably going to put a back on them. Okay. Okay, draw whiskers. And the... Now just look really cute and just add the whole bunny effect to it. So I've got two little bunnies. Yay, bunnies. And you can turn them whichever you want. I think I want their ears to be like this, like, bent right there. So bunny, 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 bunny. Anyway, so what you're going to do now is take, like if one's bigger than the other, 
take your um oh crap your your smaller one your smaller one and some tape or glue I recommend tape or I'm using tape just because it does faster oh I'm gonna just drop there's a little thing okay anyway I'm gonna cut out just a little bit more fabric to make it like stay in the back so it'll be easier for the dolls to keep them on there but you don't have to do this this is just my little optional thingy because as you all will find out quickly I like to do a lot of optional things so you guys watch a lot of my videos alright sorry this is taking so long So that's a little bit shorter. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Oh yeah, that'll work perfect. Okay. So again, take your smaller one, measure up with her foot, and then take whichever piece that you want. I'm gonna take my smaller one. Yeah, I'm gonna take my smaller one. Okay. So we won't really get the bunny icon until the end, I guess. Um tape it or glue it down to her to the white straps to the black or the colored foam whatever you have I guess I should have went ahead and took out a piece of tape before I did this oh wait I did I put it on my science book <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this piece needs to be a little bit smaller. I'm just going to trim this real quick. And I'm going to show you guys something that happens, and this is why I'm doing a little optional thing for you guys. Okay, so I stuck this little black and white slipper onto her foot. Pretend like the bunnies on there. And it's going to slip off super easily. So we're going to put the back on there. So go ahead and put it back on her foot if you already took it off. If you didn't, kudos to you. And don't worry about it being all messy and stuff because that's going to be covered up. That's why you need more than one piece. I'm going to take one of the longer pieces. And just kind of take it from the back, I guess. That way it makes it more like a sandal, I guess. But it's still really cute. And since there's going to be a bunny on the front, it's obviously has to be a slipper. And you guys will see those in my upcoming uh, oh, in my upcoming AG doll room tour. I'm going to make a lot of room tours until I finally get the room that I like. And I guess that will be my last room tour until I change it. Because their room is changing all the time. Like it's in the process of being changed right now. But then I got the idea for bunny slippers. And I was just like, oh my gosh, and I need to make a video on this. And oh my goodness. So it's been really busy. And sorry, like really, really sorry. If I can't make a lot of videos, cause I'm going to be super busy. Because like I said, I'm in middle school now. And I'm going to have homework every day because of my science teacher who is really mean. His name is Mr. Bustler. I'm not sure my name is Bustler. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to cut off my excess here. Because it's sticking to the back and it's making it pull down. If you can, try not to cut the fabric if, if you cut off your excess. Okay, so put your shoe back on there. Alright then. Now take your bigger piece. I recommend taking the shoe off before you do this. Um, I think craft foam is going to be better for this little project here. Just because. Okay, so bend it a little bit, but don't like break it like I just did. <sighs> like if you've got styrofoam. If you've got craft foam, then yeah, it's going to be bendy, so it's going to be perfect. But my styrofoam is going to break. So I can't bend it as much as I can. Oh, crap. The tape split. I hate this. So I'll fix that in a bit. I don't really have time to fix it. It takes forever just for me to fix that. <sighs> okay. So... Just tape it on there. You can do it from the sides or the fronts or whatever you want to do, the front and the back. I don't care. It doesn't matter. 
make sure you're not covering up the straps. Like, make sure the straps are above, obviously. Otherwise, what was the point of putting the straps on there? <laughs> and don't freak out if you guys, like, mess up on this, because I mess up a lot. Just like my band teacher says, we like mistakes. Because that means that you're actually trying, and if, you know, you're just saying, you're like, is this right? Then you're not actually trying. And you're not actually going for it and taking a chance or whatever. That doesn't mean you can make mistakes like in everything. <laughs> That's just my band teacher, what she says. And for this project, yes, it is okay to make mistakes. And yeah, these are going to be pretty tall. That's okay, though. Maybe your doll always says, hmm, I wish I was taller. Because after all, they're only 18 inches. <laughs> okay, so that looks really cute. Now we're going to add the bunny icon. Okay, so I decided with my other bunny, my other bunny. Oh, got it! Yay! So now I'm just gonna take a small piece of tape here. Okay, now. Eek! Okay, so just roll it. And if you don't know what, like, rolling it means, you can just, like, ask a parent because I really don't feel like explaining it. Okay. Tape your little bunny to the front strap, not the back strap. Like this. And try it on your doll and see, what, see if you like it. Oh, this turned out cute. Yay. I recommend putting the bunny icon while your doll is still wearing her little slipper because that way you can tell exactly where to put the bunny. And instead of it being, like, in the middle of her foot... It will be in, like, her pinky toe. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think they turned out really cute, because this is my first try. And since this is so long, I don't have time to make the other one. I'm just going to go ahead and end this video, because it's super long. So, sorry about that, but those are really cute. So, I hope you guys like it, and goodbye!